Welcome to the Treasure Fox. This is my second video for YouTube. This is a mini estate haul. So I'm based in Connecticut and our estate sales just reopened a week ago. So I was able to go in person and pick up some jewelry, which was really fun. Um, so I'm just showcasing a few items I found and also going over a little history of the jewelry. Um, so please let me know as well in the comments um, if you have any further details about any of these companies, um, if you have bought any uh, pieces uh, from these different companies, and if you have questions about jewelry in general. Um, and also please let me know too if you'd like to see what you'd like to see in future videos as well. Um, so I'll start with uh, the first piece here, which is by Camrose and Cross. And uh, normally they all come in uh, these blue velour boxes. Um, and they come with two pieces of paper, which um, this one didn't have. Um, one is called a Certificate of Authenticity. Um, so Camrose and Cross was founded in 1986. It was uh, the only company allowed to make replica jewelry of Jackie uh, Kennedy. Um, the company is no longer around, so the pieces are um, you know, very collectible. So you'd have the certificate of authenticity in the box, um, which is the paper saying, you know, this is from Camrose and Cross. It's an official reproduction piece. Um, and then the second uh, piece is a called a romance card. And it is a more of a it's it's like made out of a little stiffer paper. And it just details, you know, the event that Jackie wore the piece and details of like, you know, entertainment, um, what Jackie wore, you know, guests that attended those type of things. So in the case of this piece, which is a sun brooch, sunburst brooch pin, Jackie wore this in her hair <laughs> and she wore this at the 1962 official state dinner for the Shah and Empress of Iran. And, you know, I just found those details by Googling and finding other pieces that have sold that had the particular card. So that's one way to do it if your card is missing, just to look for other pieces um, online and see if the card is included. Um, okay, and the next piece is this Lily Pulitzer piece. So I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Lily Pulitzer. I love this bracelet, it just, it's very fun. It's like these faux pearl baubles and then at the top and bottom, they have these pink and green enamel kind of findings. Um, and let me show you the tag, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, but there we go. It's a little bit dark in here, but I'm doing my best to show you guys tags. Uh, so that's the Lily Pulitzer. Oh, and I realized I didn't show you the back of the tag on this one. So I'm going back to the cameras and cross. So uh, when you see these, they're usually labeled JBK for Jack Jackie Bouvier Kennedy. Okay. And so back to Lily Pulitzer. <laughs> um, so I, I just love this piece. It makes lots of fun sounds. It's just really fun. Her jewelry and her clothes are all very playful and uh, brightly colored. Um, so Lily Pulitzer is a hostess and socialite. Um, and in about 1958, 1959, um, she kind of started her company by accident. <laughs> her husband, who has passed away, uh, used to own several citrus groves. And so she decided, you know, she's a lady of leisure and she, you know, wanted a, a, something to do. She's like, well, I'm going to open up this juice stand. So she opened up a juice stand and she's, you know, juicing all these fruits and they're getting all over her clothing. And she's like, okay, I'm going to need to find something else to wear. And so she had a, her dressmaker make a cotton shift dress in sort of a, a bold, uh, colorful pattern. And uh, it became very successful and hence uh, the Lily Pulitzer brand was born. Uh, so that's a little bit about Lily Pulitzer. And then uh, the next piece is this gold crescent, sorry, not gold crescent, gold disc uh, necklace, uh, really pretty. And let me see, show you on the back. Uh, the signature is Mimi, lowercase di, capital N, Mimi Din. <laughs> so uh, this is actually uh, Madame uh, Mimi Dinassimi. Uh, so she was born in Palermo, Italy. Her father was a Sicilian uh, prince, I think. And so she was a princess. And uh, she came to the States uh, to study at the Philadelphia School of industrial arts. Um, and in the evening, she worked for um, the fashion houses like Chaparelli and Arnold Scazzi. So she got a really incredible training and uh, experience. And so she started her company in 1960, 
Um, her jewelry was made till about 1990 or 1995. Um, the jewelry is no longer made, but she continues to make the, uh, the belt buckles uh, and the belts. They're very popular as well and very collectible. So if you see those, uh, similar signature, um, they're kind of anim gold animal belts. Um, and I'll put links to all these different companies in the description so you can go and check them out yourselves as well. And just to mention a little bit more about her, um, or well, her jewelry was, it graced the covers of Harper's Bazaar and Vogue in the 1960s and 70s. Um, and it was worn by like the Duchess of Windsor and Jackie Kennedy as well. So uh, very collectible pieces. Her jewelry can sell for, um, you can go for quite a good price as well. So definitely if you find any, uh, pick them up. Um, and then the next piece I'm gonna go over is the Carol Lee set. So Carol Lee, uh, these are uh, bracelet and uh, earrings. I love the bracelet, just, it just stretches and fits over. My sister calls it like an abacus because these all move. So they're champagne colored faux pearls and then they're set between these wavy uh, rhinestones and it's just a really pretty piece. Um, I actually found them separately. I'm in this, so I'm at this estate sale and we're literally in this woman's walk-in closet. <laughs> There's like seven or eight of us. It's this beautiful walk-in closet. I'm just focused on the jewelry, but there's lots of clothes, scarves, bags. I'm kind of trying to stay within a budget. So I'm just like, okay, just look at the jewelry. <laughs> um, and there's all these, like the drawers, it's like an island in the middle with these pull-out drawers full of jewelry. So I picked out these pieces and the bracelet was in one and then I found the earrings in another. Um, so I actually didn't find them together. Um, but really nice and a little bit about Carol Lee. And let me show you the signature on the back. There's a couple different signatures that she's had, but uh, this is kind of like a script. Oh, hopefully you can see that it's pretty dark right now. So, um, so Carol Lee was an architect by training and she founded the company in 1972. It's Carol Friedlander. Um, she sold the company in 2001 to Retail Brand Alliance. Uh, but she remained uh, with the company uh, till about 2005. Uh, she's no longer associated with the company. Carol Lee still makes jewelry. Um, I'll put that link below in the description as well. And then the last piece I'm going to talk about is this Glassworks Studio uh, necklace. So it's really fun. It makes lots of uh, noise, <laughs> like a wind chime. So my sister said, it sounds like a wind chime. Um, so it's all these really fun, like charms, heart charms. Uh, there's an enamel heart, some enamel pieces. Uh, she uses Sawarski crystals as well. So this company, Glassworks Studio, was founded in 1981 um, by Ann Coplick. And I will show you the tag, sorry. Um, and she's still designing now, but she just designs under her own name. And I'll include that link too. just Ann Coplick. She runs the company with her, I'm trying to get the tag in there. Uh, she runs the company with her two daughters. Okay. So um, like Carol Lee, which I forgot to mention, Carol Lee started the company at her kind of kitchen table. So did Ann Coplick. Uh, so she started the company at her table and um, still designing today. And she was really inspired to kind of create these sort of vintage inspired pieces. Her designs do look a little bit different now. They're more enamel, um, definitely different looking, but still very fun and whimsical. So definitely check her out. I'll include the link below. Um, and I forgot to mention with Carol Lee, her intention was to create pieces that were both uh, collectible and also things that people wanted to wear, but you know, really keeping them for a long time. So that was a little bit of uh, the history of these different pieces. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, and please let me know in the comments below um, if you've ever purchased any of these different brands, if you have any more details about any of these companies, um, if there's a particular piece you liked. And of course, let me know the types of videos you'd like to see. So my focus is on vintage and contemporary jewelry and accessories. Um, I do collect scarves, so there'll be upcoming videos on that as well. But I uh, would love to hear what you want to see. And if you've enjoyed these videos and want to see future ones, uh, please hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. All right. Thanks. Bye.